Hello guys, my name is Sergei and welcome back to tell me why already because the new chapter is already out so we can continue and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. I have no idea where this is going. Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together until one day when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Okay, we're back there. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. She seems so nice. What was wrong with her? Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. Yes. I love you too. That's Sleep a... well and dream, my doves. That's a terrible joke. Who would do that? What a waste. Ice cream. Why? Why did you do that?
Family secrets. That's dark. Doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's clean. Army table and wobbly chairs. Clean and tidy. I'd say keep. No, ah, keep it. A nice tablecloth could hide the stains. A tablecloth? Ooh, fancy lady. <laughs> oh, God. That's 
What's that smell? Hey, hey. What? You're doing a great job. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I thought you'd put the trash Ancient stick on there. You are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Mm. That's Sam? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Ooh, I like how the lightning reflection is very cool. Oh, hey. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I forgot. I'm sorry. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Mm, I mean, yeah. But what about you? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. <laughs> I really like that armchair. For a trick, like the uh, mold smell. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Uh, trash. Another one for the landfill. Uh, and that thing, do we just keep it there? Okay, I guess. What else? I can't move. I can't do anything. And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Okay. Nice. Oh, that looks dirty. Ugh. Gross stain is gross. <laughs> uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. We don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, what's that picture? I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. Allison said that she didn't want them. But that's what, just more positive, so I don't know. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Um. <laughs> Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, <laughs> totally. And just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. Okay. Oh, look at that one. 
Is that their dad? That... No... Dad? That looks like Eddie. Kind of. I don't know. Oh, yeah, what's man. Up? I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile, like Alice. Hmm. Come on, honey, smile, like Allison. You hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. Yeah. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Hey Allison, come take a break with me. Sure, why not? Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Uh. Answer? Ah, uh, um. Coffee. We know he loves coffee. Would you coffee. rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm. Nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in. Mm hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> when? The Ice King is sending us a warning. Um, I wasn't ready, I'm not done. Ugh, what the? Hello there, What's frog. this doing down here? That's a is very that good question. Gum? <coughs> Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Gotham Swing. <laughs> hmm, is that a reference? What's that? Look. What to do with this? I think he... That's a nice table. Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finish your salad first. Thank you, Bitch, Tessa. Lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. Uh. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. <laughs> Hello. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. It's kind of weird. You can tell that she tried, but why did she go crazy at the end? Hey, Allison. Let's look at our drawings. Okay, Allison's yeah. first drafts. Right. <laughs> Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. 
You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Humor me. That... I would say the bear is Sam, but the other two, I have no idea. That guy's going fishing. Uh... Oh, I have no idea. Okay, let's remind ourselves. Um... Ah, okay, Allison and, um, Eddie. Is, is that Eddie? I think he, it's Eddie, okay. I think the bear is all right, yeah. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. Hmm, Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. So that's, um, Tessa. You go here. Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Okay. Too bad the law isn't really just. You done? Yep. I think so. Alright. I think I'm done. You sure? Um... How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. No, oh, the Mad Hunter. Okay, it's just still image. Okay. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. Mm. One yep. second. Totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. Memories. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? No. Allison. Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Hopefully. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. Mm -hmm. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown who said you were... Starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I uh, I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, well, I. Uh, anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I uh, uh, did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader. Hmm? But I think I get why what I said was wrong. And I'm real sorry. Don't look so mad. Oh, and before I forget, we're the lady of the house. Oh. 
Oh. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. And damn, Tyler looked so mad all the time. <laughs> That apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. What's your problem, Tyler? Why so mad? Supposed so, to do something? Um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know what? built this here barn for your mama. Oh. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, I'm gonna find that darn key. Wait, wait, Sam, you have more of our keys? Yeah, the one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. <laughs> I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope, we're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning, the door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Uh. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Broke the handle. Or did he? Yeah. Well. At least the door is open now. Yeah, uh, well, it's easy to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. All right, that fuse box is not going to fix itself. Okay. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah. Route 66. Down. We could refinish the whole thing, but... That's a lot of work. Um, okay, there's a sculpture of the Mad Hunter. Um, and her hair. Right there. Who made these sculptures? Okay, that door is closed. Alright. Fuses go into plugs. Should what? be easy enough. Uh, oh god. Okay, um... Okay, Marianne, I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. We'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Uh, amps total up to 120 for the whole house. Sam. Yes, pretty proud of myself for once I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Okay. 15 amp for the garage and in total 120 for the house. Um, okay, garage is 6. What? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh, okay, the 15 amp is already in there for the garage, but I have no idea what I have to do. Place a fuse, place a fuse, place a fuse. Do I look like I have any idea how far to use this? What? I'm just doing stuff randomly. 
Okay, we got exactly 100. So I could put in a 20. And that should work. Verify panel. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. That's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, <laughs> did you read the note next to the box? Yes. But how is that supposed to help me? Uh, okay. Um, one needs to go down from 30 to 20. Okay. Hmm? Seems good. Oh, ah, okay. That was easier than I thought. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Bye. What was that about? I feel bad for him. Predator rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> Hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-Boy. Okay. Hey there, little buddy. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. One second. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. <laughs> Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Mm. Hmm? She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Allison, do you know who this is? What did um, you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. What was that all about? You dropped the picture. I feel something strong. It's making my teeth tingle. Wonder how that feels. Follow the memory. Come on, it's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more, I can feel it. I had to make that call. 
I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? I, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, mm, that's not what I went. I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can. But who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? You're a goddamn oh, no. hypocrite. Get out of here! Get out. Get out. Uh. Uh. I do not know what happened. I feel like someone died or something. I don't know. Get out. Which is why I think that she's sad. I'd usually side with Tyler, but on this one, I think Get this out. might be the one. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, what? just get out of here. Before he gets in trouble? What? All right. Zay Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? <laughs> Fuck the trash. Okay. This is going somewhere. And we'll see where it's going in the next episode. Woo! If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. If you didn't, write in the comments down below why I didn't like it, because I want to improve my videos. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!